Hi guys, so today I'm bringing you a tutorial for this peacock green glitter winged cut crease type look and I was actually requested to do this tutorial or look by someone on a Facebook group I'm in because they'd seen a look I'd done which was exactly the same but I think it was purple and orange and they wanted a peacocky type version so I thought that I can do, I will do that for you. So this look is quite graphics-y with the cut crease type effect but then quite soft as well towards the edges as it's buffed out and blended into something else. So let's start. I'm starting with Too Faced Shadow Insurance as per always because that's just, that's just what I do. And I'm buffing that all over my eye just with a clean finger. Next I'm taking 17 Four Paint which is a thick cream concealer and I'm just popping that underneath my brow and blending that out with my finger and this will just give us a better base for any eyeshadow that we pop over there and make the highlight shade a bit bolder. For the highlight shade I'm using Makeup Forever 102 which is like a pale yellowy cream and I'm just using a densely packed brush just to pat that over and right into that cream to make sure that it stays and is nice and smooth. Next I'm taking Sugar Pill Acid Berry which is like a lime chartreuse type colour and I'm using an angled fluffy brush just to buff that above the crease and this colour you kind of have to build quite a lot. You can take this up as far as you like just to make it a bit more dramatic. Next I'm taking this kind of teal petrol blue shade from the Sleek Ultra Max version 2 which is one of my favourite eyeshadow palettes ever by the way and I'm just buffing that directly into the crease and into that lime green type kind of shade and I don't buff too much in this like I want the colours to still look quite separate I'm just trying to soften out the edges and that will keep the dramatic type effect as well. Next I'm going in with the same palette but this time taking a navy blue and that's going pretty much directly over the teal shade just to deepen it up and I'm also taking this just slightly onto the lid and I'm buffing that in and all throughout this I go back between the colours and blend between them all just to until I get the effect that I'm going for really. Next I'm taking that four paint again and I'm going to start to cut out our crease type effect. I start right in the inner corner and take it just above the crease. You can take it up as far as you like. And I'm using a Real Techniques, I think it's a concealer brush but maybe it's a lip brush from the Core Collection. A lip brush would be perfectly good for this or even a small angle brush as well. As long as it's synthetic and kind of densely packed you'll be able to get quite a nice sharp shape with it. And take your time on this. I kept going back over and looking in the mirror and obviously trying to get it symmetrical with the other eye as well which was a bit of a struggle because I suck at making things symmetrical <laughs> but I think we got there in the end. And I dab that out as well with my finger which you might see me doing just to remove any excess product so that it doesn't crease. Just take that onto the inner third and dab it out and blend it a little bit. Next I go in with Makeup Geek White Lies which is just a bright matte white and I press that over the top of that concealer with my finger just to make sure that it's really stuck in there and nice and smooth. And I go back in with that concealer and just eke it out a little bit more, just refine that shape. You can keep going back between the concealer and the um, pressed eyeshadow as much as you like until it looks a little something like this. Next I'm going in with this Eye Magic Flash Palette which is basically the same thing as the Makeup Forever Flash Palette except only £8 instead of like £70, I don't know how much the Makeup Forever one is. And you might notice when I close my eyes that there's now yellow in the middle of my lid. <laughs> Unfortunately my camera cut out so I can't show you that bit but basically just add some yellow to the centre of your lid. And I completely ballsed up doing this black bit but I thought I'd just keep it in anyway to show you that everyone makes mistakes especially when they're filming like this wing was completely not what I wanted I had to go and fix it off camera with just with a cotton bud but I'm just taking the black and buffing that in once I'd finished that up and cleaned it up I went in with Makeup Geek Corrupt which is a matte black and I'm just pressing that over the top and blending it into that yellow that I didn't film <laughs> but you can kind of see the effect that we're going for here 
Next I'm taking Makeup Geek Untamed, which is like an orangey bronze gold kind of shade. And I'm patting that over the top of the yellow with my finger. I think that if you've got these Makeup Geek foiled shadows, then they go best. They go on best with a finger. Then I'm taking a small angle brush and I'm just kind of redefining that um, cut crease shape. Next I go in with the teal from the Ultramax version 2 palette. And I take it kind of above the shape that we've cut out for the cut crease. And I just kind of buff it in and pull it upwards a little bit to blend it in. And this just adds that little bit of depth back, which I think we were starting to lose a little bit. And I just buff that in with a little bit more lime green. Next I'm taking NYX Vivid Liner in Escape, which is like a pale chartreuse. And I'm just dotting that over the black se section of our eye makeup and a little bit into the gold as well. Then I'm taking Colourpop Liquid Lipstick in Jellies and I'm doing the exact same thing. If I'd had an electric blue or a brighter blue I'd have used that instead, but I didn't so this is what we ended up with. And then I take Colourpop Liquid Lipstick in Dr. M which is like a petrol blue teal type shade and I do the same thing. Again, I'd have used something brighter or paler, but I didn't have anything, but it still ended up coming out okay. Next, I take Stargazer Glitter Fix Gel. And I just apply that right over the gold area that we have and pat, pat it in with my finger. Next, I'm taking Stargazer Gold Glitter, which is just a plain straight up gold. And I'm patting that over the top of that Glitter Fix Gel with my finger. You can use a flat synthetic brush if you pr prefer, but I just think that this is a lot easier. And then I'm buffing any excess off with a fluffy brush. Then I'm going in with Badass Beauty Rose Gold Glitter, which is like a flaky glitter, which is not eye safe, so, you know, it's up to you, it's your choice whether you want to put this on your eyes or not. I wouldn't recommend doing it on a client. Next I'm taking NYX Frostbite, which is like a white, blue, purpley, duochrome kind of colour and I'm patting that into our very inner eye where we've put that concealer before and just patting it in lightly towards the gold glitter. Now I'm going back in with the Eye Magic Flash Palette and I'm just taking a little bit of the green underneath each eye. As you might be able to tell, I've now got my foundation and concealer on. I just find it a lot easier to do the lower lid after all of my foundation and so on. Next I'm going in with Sugar Pill Acid Berry and I'm taking that on a fluffy blending brush and just popping that over where we've just placed that green to make it nice and bright and bold. Next I'm going in with that petrol blue kind of shade from the Sleep Palette again. And I'm just popping this onto the outer third of each eye, blending it into that green. You could use a black as well, but I quite like just having the black on the upper lid and having the brighter colours on the lower. Next I'm going in with NYX Frostabite again. And I'm just popping that onto the inner third of my eye. Watching this tutorial I realised just how much I use my fingers in this <laughs> in this look, but I did round out the edges with a brush. Next I'm going in with some falsies. And looking back I think that this would look would have been a bit better with shorter, spikier falsies, but these still look kind of cute. So just use whatever you have to hand and whichever you think will look best with this look. Next I'm taking the NYX Matte Liquid Liner in just a plain black shade and I'm trying to disguise that lash band a little bit by just going over the white areas with the black liquid liner. Then I'm taking the Bourjois Ultra Curl Mascara, of course you can use any mascara that you have to hand and I'm just popping that onto the lower lashes to try and even them out a little bit with the upper lash line. Next we're going to go in with all of the liners that we've used so far and kind of dot them on the outer half of the lower lash line. And I think that this just combines kind of the look of the top lid and the lower lid just quite nicely and makes them seem more like part of one look instead of two looks stuck together, if that makes sense. And that's the look complete! I finished up with the Colourpop Jellies Liquid Lipstick again. 
Well, obviously that's kind of a bold choice, but you know, we've already got a bold look, bold eye look going on, so why not go, why not go the whole hog? This would also look quite nice though with just a peachy nude kind of shade or a nice pink colour. Or even black if you're a little bit more daring. I think that this look works well as well with like complementary colours, so yellow and purple or so on and so forth. But just do what you like. I hope you've learned something and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, please like, comment, subscribe and follow me on social media where my name is always Beauty's Bad Habits. Thanks, bye!